Hey, what is going on, everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today, and if not, hopefully I'll have a better tomorrow. So today, I uh, wanted to pay tribute to Monty Ohm. For those of you who may or may not know, he passed away on February 1st, 2015. Monty had actually suffered from a severe allergic reaction during a medical procedure and fell into a coma on January 22nd, 2015. And unfortunately, he didn't make it out, and he passed away on February 1st, 2015. And, um, you know, it was very, very tragic. It was a very sudden thing to have happened. But, um, you know, originally I was going to actually um, pay tribute with some fan art that I had drawn out, but apparently it didn't want to save. But if you would like to see some of my fan art in the future, you know, maybe some future videos, I'll do that. But anyways, that's not what we're here about. We're What we're here about today is paying tribute to Monty and, you know, I have to say, he was a very talented individual. I mean, he self-taught himself to animate. And, I mean, that's that's a big thing in itself. That's actually very hard to do. And, you know, that was amazing that he was able to do that. He also scripted and produced several crossover fighting video series. And, you know, he drew the attention of the internet uh, production company, Rooster Teeth. And he provided them, you know, uh, custom animations for Red vs. Blue. And obviously, as we all know him, you know, for is, you know, he created Ruby. And, you know, I have to say that he, he, he was very talented. He was a very intelligent individual. I mean, and, and it takes a lot. You, you have to be very talented and very, you know, intelligent to be able to teach yourself to animate. That's absolutely amazing. And, you know, he, you know, drew the attention within the gaming community after releasing the hit video, you know, Helloid. Helloid, I think, um, it was in 2007, uh, hopefully I'm not butchering that, but uh, it was on game trailers, and um, it was actually really cool. Like, um, I think a lot of people really enjoyed it. I mean, obviously, I mean, the video itself received more than 4 million views, so, you know, and it was the most watched user-created content on game trailers, so that shows you how talented Monty himself was. And uh, in October of the very same year, he released uh, the first video in his Dead Fantasy fan series. Um, and it was like, just like in, you know, Halloween, uh featured fantastical combat sequences, which that is one thing that Monty's been known for is, is his, you know, fight sequences, his animation, you know, with fight sequences have been very, very, very good. And um, not only that, but... Um, he did a lot of things like he worked with um what was it um he worked with Namco Bandai um games as a combat designer and animator for Afro Samurai so that was actually really cool um i mean it takes a lot to even get somewhere like that and you know he he was very like like i said it shows you how talented he was and, uh, you know, I really, like I said, I, I really think that Monty, he, he was just a very, very talented individual. And, you know, what I have to say is, you know, it, it was very just tragic what happened to him. It was tragic uh, about the medical procedure just going wrong. And, um, you know, it's just a very amazing talent, a very intelligent and gifted individual um, left us that day. But, um, you know, what I have to say about what Rooster Teeth did, a um, couple things about them that they did for Monty, which was great on their part, is, you know, they did on February 1st of 2017, a year ago today, as of this video's recording, um, they created the Monty Own Performance Capture Stage at Rooster Teeth Animation's new facility, uh, So, and that was dedicated to his honor, and that shows how much they valued him. And, um, uh, is amazing, and, you know, I mean, it was just awesome that they did that for Monty. Um, I think that's just fantastic. I mean, I think that's amazing, but, um, but, you know, that's the thing. Even though Monty may not be here physically anymore, um, he still lives on through us, the fans, the Rooster Teeth. You know, and the continuation of Ruby itself, he lives on in spirit, and he lives on through his legacy, and we will never forget him, and how he brought an entire community together. I mean, that's just amazing that he was such a good, hardworking person that he did that, and, you know, for all the fans, for everyone, um, thank you, Monty. Thank you for everything you did, bringing a community together, and you will always forever be missed.